Hey everyone. So I had a fun project and I wanted to tell you all about it. You might have spotted this on Instagram. I had posted about it when it happened. This was some weeks ago. I was in Maryland. I was down by Fort Meade just doing skiff stuff and I was expecting, you know, a kind of boring government week. You get up early, have a bad dinner, go to bed early, wake up the next day and repeat. But one of the evenings, uh, I had plans that I wasn't expecting to have. So my friend Hexadecimate, she got in touch. She's like, hey, um, are, you, are you in Maryland? Are you at a meet or something? I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm in town. What's, what's going on? She's like, well, there's a cool project potentially if you're up for it. A uh, friend of mine, I think you know her. You know, you're a big YouTube person. She's on YouTube. Uh, she bought this piece of furniture a while ago, and it's a gorgeous antique, but it's locked. It has this like locked cabinet. So we've always taken to calling it like Natalie's cabinet of the unknown, uh, this cabinet of mystery. And we're curious about this. Uh, maybe if you're if you're free, you can take a look at it, or you can advise us on what we might do. And I was like. Are you talking about Natalie Wynn? Because you're in Baltimore here. Like, are we talking about ContraPoints? And she's like, yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're free, maybe, you know, we have a free evening. I was like, yes, I will absolutely make time for Nat. She is nine kinds of divine. And I, those of you who know, I've mentioned her before on the channel. So that's what I did. I swung on over and we just hung out. We, you know, got to chat for a while. I shared some wine. She played piano for me. It was divine. And yeah, I got the cabinet open, right? And Wonder of wonders, it was not empty. This is what always happens, right? There, it's, you know, whenever someone has a locked safe or a vault or something, and they put an ad on Craigslist, like, hey, do you have what it takes to come to our pizzeria that we're closing and break into the... There's never anything in there. There actually was something in this cabinet. It was really cool. It was some old sheet music and a map of some towns in North Carolina. We think it was probably owned by a, like a choir society or somebody who went Christmas caroling. So that, I got a little souvenir out of there with some paperwork. But speaking of other things I got out of there, I actually have the lock. So this is the lock to her cabinet. Because I said, I'm like, so I, you know, we've got this open, that's cool. And we had you know, various improvised little tools and things. Uh, it is a lever lock, right? So if you reach in here, you can kind of you know, put some pressure on the bolt and put some pressure on the levers. And eventually, you know, uh, if I can push on it and then pop it open, right? I actually, if I want to demo it for you, I'll probably reach in with a handcuff shim that has a little bit more stiffness to it. And there we go, bolts in. And I said, that's great that we could kind of push the bolt one way and if I fuss with it, I could knock it back the other way. But what if we actually made a key? Would you, would you like a key to operate this? And I've done this before. Like I have various projects of desk drawer locks and you may have seen in the background of some of our videos, Tara and I have this German trunk piece of furniture. So I am familiar with making keys. And in fact, I have done this. I filed and, and fitted a, it's, it wasn't too complicated here. I have a working key now, right? And it, it takes a little bit of rocking and, and it's, it's not perfect. It's not the ideal key, but it's functional. However, looking at all of my source material, I found one that I think is really on brand for Nat. I think it's very her style. And maybe I can do a little Dremel and file action and make this a working key. So come on with me on a journey. We'll see how this works.
So there we are. I would say that this is a pretty absolute victory. Uh, it is fortunate, of course, that, I mean, it's a lever lock, but it's not that advanced of a lever lock here. So we didn't have to do a lot of different high low on the bitting uh, where the key engages with the bolt is essentially almost the same height as the lever pack that needs to move around with the fence and the stump. So there we go. I guess Christmas is coming early for you. We'll get this in the mail along with the lock and I'll, I'll include the one that was already kind of working. Uh, Nat had a bunch of keys, by the way, that we were going to try and none of them really wound up working out. We tried carving and fiddling with a few of them, but maybe that's the giveaway this week. So I have an assortment of really kind of neat looking keys from her. Maybe you put them on gifts for other people. It's the holiday season, right? I love decorating my presents and my ribbons with like a little bit of flair. I think little keys like this would be terrific. So six of you who are on the mailing list, I'm going to just reach out and throw them in an envelope and a stamp and come in your way. The rest of this stuff though, yeah. In addition to the lock pack and the key, I was able to find a really nice sort of wood protector that can slip into the hole so that wood doesn't get chipped away and a really kind of cool antique top cover I had in my parts bin. So maybe we'll get a reassembly video of this lock being fitted back into its place. It is really a gorgeous piece, that sideboard, which now holds all of her music by the piano. So I was happy to have a hand in just a fun project in someone's home. Most of my work is, you know, it's boring stuff these days. It's corporate stuff. It's not just the little fun, hacky, for a pleasure projects that I used to do. So this was really special to me. I'm grateful for the opportunity and I am happy to be able to share the story with all of you. So have a good time, have a good holiday season. Look for a follow-up video maybe when this gets reinstalled. And in the meantime, stay safe out there.